Hey everyone, Shannon here. I am super excited to show you how to make your videos look professional and badass with this 2700 plus transitions pack. To get started, just follow that download link that's available in the description below. If you're like me and you do a lot of video production, then it's good to grab a subscription and get access to millions of creative assets like graphics, music tracks, stock photos, web templates even all for just $16.50 a month. That link is also available in the description below, so check it out. All right, I'm ready to get started. I have my project open. Uh, let's get going. So the pack comes with PDF directions as well as video directions, so you don't have to worry about getting lost. Once downloaded, it is a zip file, so we need to just extract the contents. Inside of that transitions folder is a transitions premiere project file we can drag and drop this right into our own Premiere project. And we're going to simply drag and drop that transition project file we downloaded into our media browser of the project we are working on. So this next step is important. We are going to check create folder for imported items so that everything is binned very nicely and allow importing duplicate media. And we just hit OK. It may take a minute because there's a ton of transitions to load in, but once they're loaded, we can click the transitions folder in our icon view. So we're going to go down and click the icon view. And once we get inside and dig around those folders, there's so much stuff in there. Uh, we can actually scrub through the different transitions. So we have a nice view of exactly what we are placing on our timeline. I mean, you can spend just hours trying out different ones. So here are some of my favorites that I'm placing on my project for a fake vitamin advertisement. You can actually find this project file and work alongside with me in my Udemy video editing basics course. Uh, we work together just like we are right now. And that link is in the description with an offer code. All right, so I really like the optic zoom. So if I went into the zoom folder uh, and it looks really, really cool uh, between the takes. Uh, it looks really modern. It looks really energetic. Uh, I like a lot of the zooms there. Uh, the next one that works very well for the footage that I have. So remember, it's it's the type of footage that that you also have. You know, transitions are about they're about storytelling. They're about getting to the next piece. Uh, so you don't want to place, you know, something super crazy on a piece that's calm. <laughs> so it's whatever works for the footage. And these are all great. Um, but I really like the light and the light motion transitions because I have several pieces of, of the sun through the trees. And I really want, you know, a lens flare and the light motion to come to come through with that. So I really, really like this one for for this piece or any pieces that that have the sun in it. My third favorite would have to be the splits, just because the splits can work well with any type type of footage that that you're using. Um, they're really modern. It's really quick. It's really fast paced. Um, it's really cool because split. I chose splits because splits would be so hard to do in After Effects or Premiere through masking. Um, they they'd all be done through masking, but you'd have to mask like two to three images at a time. And you'd have so you'd have to mask them out and you have to keyframe where the split is happening between the two images. So I chose splits because splits are pretty uh, time consuming if you're doing them manually and by hand. So you can see it's all just drag and drop. Uh, you can delete them, move them around, change them, scrub through. Uh, you'll be spending a lot of time just looking at them and seeing what works well because uh, there's so many. There's so many in this pack. It's great that you have a lot of variety because it depends what kind of video you're working on. A very helpful add on to this pack is it lets you change the resolution of the transition. So if you're shooting in 4K versus 1080p HD, it lets you change that inside of the change resolution folder. If we wanted to change the resolution, we're going to right click on the adjustment layer and select sequence settings. Simply type in the resolution of 4K video. If you did shoot in 4K, that's 3840 by 2160. And when we save that, all of our transitions within our bins change. 
So this is super, super helpful. It's not like we have to change every single one by hand. So I really, really like that about this pack. Next, moving on to some text presets. We need some text on this video. So within the transitions folder is text presets to add some titles. So go in, choose one you like, and that looks pretty cool. All right, next we're going to add some motion presets. Now there is an extra step that we do need to take so that all of the graphics are loaded into our Premiere project within the presets of our effects panel. So in your effects panel, right click on presets and select import presets and navigate to transitions, presets, motion presets, project file, and select that file. Now we simply add these cool presets to our logo and it animates it for us. So it does all the keyframing by dragging and dropping onto our logo that we have here. That's super cool. Uh, lastly, we can add a bunch of sound effects. And I love that this pack comes with sound effects because sound effects <laughs> music for me are certainly hard to find. If you don't have a subscription to um, something that's royalty free, but this pack comes with really great sound effects. What's great about these packs is that you don't have to use After Effects. Um, I know that if you're a beginner in Premiere and in video editing, After Effects can be really um, intimidating. <laughs> so uh, with these packs in Premiere, your transitions are just right in there, all the keyframing's done. It's just really, really nice if you're doing a simple slideshow or a montage uh, for a video or something like that. Um, so it's great if you're not as experienced, uh, you can still make your videos look professional. Also, it helps me work a little bit faster. I don't have to keep rendering things uh, in After Effects or using dynamic link and switching back and forth. So I thought the drag and drop process to get the transitions into Premiere was a bit difficult for beginners. And I say this because if you're just starting out in Premiere, as you're kind of getting the lay of the land. But if you've been doing video editing in Premiere for some time, uh, you should have no problem following the directions within the pack to get the transitions into Premiere. So because of that learning curve for super, super beginners, I'm rating that ease of use of four out of five stars. As far as variety, there are 2,700 plus transitions, motion presets, sound effects in there, I mean, you got a ton of stuff to start with. So as far as variety, I rate that a five out of five stars. So I rate aesthetics and quality of five out of five. And the quality I rate a five out of five as well because you can change the resolution of the transitions, which is awesome because if I'm going from 720p to 4K, I can do that. Uh, you can type in any resolution within the sequence settings. And I think that's awesome. If you liked this video, hit subscribe give us a like, leave a comment telling me what tutorials you'd like to see next, or leave a comment telling me what transition was your favorite and that you're going to use when you downloaded the pack. Thanks for watching and go make something awesome.